and he went ballistic. And he called me, and <laughs> that's the last thing I heard was, yes. And haven't spoke in some time. Is there, is there light at the end of the tunnel with that? Do you feel like you guys can mend that? <clears throat> that would be on his end, Matt. Um, he was my best friend at the time, and I love the guy, and I miss the guy. But, you know, I got to do my job. What I said was, I said, first of all, I don't think it's fair for me to critique other GMs and coaches and have a double standard. That goes back to the Skip Bayless mm -hmm. thing. Like, you can tell the guys he like and guys he dislike. I think I'm fair to everybody. What I said about Michael, I said, I don't know if he's ever going to be successful because of the people around him. I think he hires too many of his friends. Uh, and because your friends don't ever tell you no. The hardest thing about being famous is because you're paying all the bills. They're on your private jet. Mm -hmm. They're not going to tell you when you're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. And I said that I didn't, because he, he was struggling as a general manager, uh, running the team. And mm -hmm. I said, I don't know if he's ever going to be successful because the people around him are never going to tell him no. And like, yeah, don't draft that dude. No, we need to trade that dude, blah, blah, blah. And he went ballistic. And he called me, and <laughs> that's the last thing I heard was, motherfucker, fuck you. You're supposed to be my boy, and blah, blah. And I said, man, man, I got to do my job. And we haven't spoken since that night, and that was probably close to 10 years ago. Mm. Right, this situation is sad. It seems as though Charles is a sincere guy, and he actually misses Michael Jordan's friendship. It also seems as though he didn't intentionally, you know, want to piss off Michael. But knowing Michael Jordan, you know, from the little bits that we see about his character and his attitude, he doesn't really take too lightly to people, say, even bashing him, like to whatever looks as though he's being criticized negatively or bashed or whatever. It doesn't seem like he takes too lightly to that. And it seems as in this situation, especially on TV, he felt betrayed by Charles, you know, who he had known and had been good friends with for maybe 20 years dating back to maybe the late 80s early 90s as somebody who has lost friends as well you know it's it's difficult when there are people that used to be chill with but now you know you don't speak to them so i can get where charles is from you can even see it the way he's talking because he's never really serious like this but now he's serious and he seems as though you know he wished that this whole situation never happened but at the end of the day you know the truth is the truth and i don't know why michael really couldn't understand it but like again like i said that's a part of his character and maybe that's why he is who he is so i can't really judge that whole situation i just don't know how differently charles would have been able to do that and talk about michael's situation because he actually was struggling so I don't know if it was a choice of words. I didn't hear it exactly. A choice of words he said. Who knows? Maybe just Michael just didn't want him talking bad about him, period. But it's unfortunate. Anyway, I just want to show you guys a little bit of history. And that's about it. So until next